Now, scientists working on vaccines around the world have been using a new method to communicate their research to the public. Sean in the Cube's been looking into that. Well, there's been so much talk, particularly this week, about vaccines, not only on the scientific sphere, but also on social media too. Giving a quick breakdown, you know, the European Commission has signed four contracts already for initial purchases of potential vaccines. The news this week, Pfizer and BioNTech, that would be an initial purchase of 200 million doses, followed by a further 100 million, should should it prove to be both effective and safe. But these are the other three contracts, AstraZeneca being one of the companies, 300 million, and then an option for another 100 million, Johnson & Johnson, Sanofi, uh, GSK. These are all confirmed contracts. There's also two exploratory talks ongoing. But with all of these talks of vaccines, there has been misinformation on social media, but also people just having questions to ask. Now, scientists who are working on the vaccines have been taking to the video platform known as TikTok to try answer people's questions. They're they're called a hashtag Team Halo, scientists across the globe. This is one example of a scientist, Dr. Anna Blakeney, who answered the question of whether it's going too fast. I give you three reasons why it may seem like the vaccine is rushed, but it's not. No matter what vaccine it is, it has to pass the same regulatory checkpoints to make sure it's both safe and immunogenic. It doesn't matter what amount of time it's being developed for, it has to pass these checkpoints. Two, vaccine platforms like RNA or protein or viral vectors are platforms, which means they can easily be made for a new indication, which is exactly what we did in January. But all of these platforms have been in development for years already. Three, it's been a group effort. Usually people are working on lots of different types of vaccines, but everybody's right now just focused on COVID. Now we spoke to Dr. Blakeney and she explained to us why TikTok has been so useful. Obviously, as opposed to just showing somebody a chart or a graph or some numbers about a vaccine, we're able to show people videos of what we actually do in the lab. By being able to show people directly on TikTok what I'm doing, I think it really just builds trust because people are able to ask directly, you know, is this a rushed vaccine? Is it safe? Um, And then, you know, I'm there in the comments responding to them directly. So it's not filtered through a third party. They're able to get their questions answered directly by a scientist. And so I think just opening that line of communication is actually really great. These are scientists, bioengineers, people across the globe who are working on this coronavirus vaccine. Now using this hashtag, you can ask your questions directly to those on that front line. Okay, Shona in the Cube, many thanks.